A good evening. Well, oh, whoops. Good evening once again, my lovely viewers. My name is Mr. Smack Hennigan, and tonight we'd be doing part 12 of the Super Castle 84 Hard Mode Let's Play, where we're going across Stage B, the bridge, the tower, up to Dracula's Keep, the final stage as it is. Now then, let's do this. Now we get more classic Castlevania music. And of course, I'm gonna fail. Uh, give me a minute. There we go. Yay, I did stuff. Now then. The first part of this level is a downward climb to get away from, well, oh, to get away from the bloody clock tower. Very useful thing that, you know. And then this will be a double. Oh, must have been a hard. And there we go. Get rid of him. And now, oh, that was smart. Almost went down the hole. Not the best idea. Anyway, as you can see, I've started out with maximum time. Oh, actually, I should check what's in there. It's a heart. But yeah, I start out with maximum time. Good reason. This is going to be a, a weird one. Right, to take out the rest of these bastards. As you can tell, this, uh, I think maybe the emulator? Can't take all this bridge breaking and whip, um, jangling things. Yeah, you get the idea. Look at they go. And to avoid all the bats, uh, there we go. It's always weird when those bats appeared. I always thought, when I was younger, it was just like Dracula rising from the grave in bridge form. That made sense. Ah, uh, here we go. The fun part. He lied. Wait, why am I quoting that? That's stupid. Anyway, going up the stairs, that's deemed to fall. Everything is trying to kill me, including that little... little that spike wheel. Get out of my way, skeleton. Don't need you. That thing kills. If that thing touches me, it's just a death. Ain't I? You can tell how that might be an issue. I think I never knew what speed that thing rose at. I just sort of went along with it. Oh, there's an axe. I'm not gonna use it actually, because in this situation, well, on this mo level, boomerang is actually better. Whoa! Away! And then, this part is always a bit of a bitch for me. These spikes and these fast rising platforms. Very annoying. Uh, another, there would be a boomerang in there, but because uh, I've already got it, it's going to be a fiver. And then up we go. Oh, and of course, this is more classic Castlevania. The big. Oh, phew, bloody bastard. But yeah, more classic Castlevania music. Fun times. Uh, I wasn't expecting that guy to suddenly jump down and try and kill me. Well, at the very least, he got the jump on me. Isn't that hilarious? Alright. Oh, another one. Get rid of him. Get me money bags. Take this guy out. It's amazing I can see anything, considering the screen's being taken up by all this, uh... Um... Heads-up display. Ooh, food. Beautiful. Alright, now for the real cheap part. You've really got a bloody work to get past here without being killed by those spikes. <laughs> Alright, I did it on the first try. How much as I fail here? Now we got the room of close associates, or the hall of close associates. First room has enough hearts to give you a full whip, and and we start off with the boss. He starts off like this. Slogra. One of the apparent toughest. Very tough if you're not playing well. Way to do it. Since he, since that can poke you in the face unless you're ducking, duck to make sure he doesn't immediately backstab you. Rather like this. Oh no, we didn't. And whoa! Can't hit him until he stops being green. Bit of shame. Oh, buddy. And now it's going to get touchy. Oh, I died. <coughs> Here's where it gets fun. There aren't any sub-weapons after here. Until, of course, maybe Dracula. I've got to do this without any lives. Should be interesting. Now then, duck cover. Oh, like that. Ah! Bastard! See, those things explode as well, so they can be right annoying. 
because the more annoying form is when he loses his spear. Because you can just strike at any time and you usually can't dodge it. Unless I'm doing it wrong. Whoa, see? Uh, oh, Gotta avoid it. His hitbox is some somehow still the same when he's doing the ducking charge, whatever you call it. See? Hit him when he was ducking. You would presume he's sitting some sort of skeletal bird. Oh, buddy. And now I die. Oh no! Dead! And he turns RGB. Now then, first boss done. Let's get to the second one. Food. Delicious. More food. Considering the amount of damage I took, I'm gonna need it. And another one. In case you really, really bloody needed it. F bloody hell, three. Just practically a full heal. And you can see the gradient there. This dude is a bit of a dick. It's Gaibon. Whoa. Gotta avoid everything he throws. Oh boy. Oh, and I've been hit. Next boss is not going to be as uh, nice with the amount of food. The amount of food items. Oh, come on. Spikes, really? Ah, everything is going to pot. Oh, and he's fallen. Now he's changing his pattern. Can you tell how? Thankfully, I think he stops uh, stamping on the floor. Oh. Also, the music changed. I forgot to mention. I think I did, actually. I think I did. Oh. Just gotta avoid everything ever. Oh, that was stupid. I'm gonna make uh, the next battle a bit of a dick. Always weirded me out, the death scene. Watch this. He burns into a skeleton. Bit of a shame. Alright, so at most nine hit points for the next boss. I don't like where this has the potential of going. Oh, you can't back up, so you can't save the food items. I can't do this. See, it's stuck. So nine hits to take on, guess who? It's Dracula's old favorite. Good old death himself. Grim Reaper comes to try and put an end to him. All right. The thing with this guy is, he throws scythes every so often, and I seem to be getting hit by every single bloody one of them. A bloody rough. And up with this guy. And jump over that. And run over. Oh boy. Whoa. So I've got to do this with one hit. I don't like where this has the potential of going. Um. Oh, and if you manage to survive long enough to get, like, the, uh, sub-weapon here, at this point, you wouldn't be able to use it against him because they would just disintegrate. Oh, no. Just camping along. Alright. Playing all defensive-like. Can you tell why? Oh, and something I don't really know, didn't really notice until now. Because of the way de uh, death is in this game, uh, or the Japanese folklore thing, language, that's what it was. Since 4 seems to be death. Oh boy, I'm going to concentrate here. There we go. Oh, beauty! <laughs> anyway. Now for the real fun. Anyway, since four seems to be associated with death, I think every dam attack his, every attack he does does four damage. I never really noticed that because I never really knew it. Anyway, now for the super cheese. Oh look, an invisible platform. It's raining food and hearts. Boomerang, double, and triple. All right. Hey, there we go. That is the ultimate cheese, you can tell. <laughs> ah, okay. Get another food item there. You can just sort of mess that up, I think. And then, full health, I'm going to take on good old Count Drac. And everything starts getting a bit shocking. I think this one goes red? I don't remember. But yeah, 
Easiest way to win. Whoa. Up. Oh. Easiest way to win if you're not being shit. Oh boy. Oh. Oh, and of course he starts pixelating a little. Oh, I've been hit. He takes a lot of damage, I swear. Oh dear. Oh. Oh, that was close. Oh, here we go. And he drops food as well, isn't he? Just the kindest little man. Oh boy. Missed. Darn. You kind of farm those, sort of. Anyway. More food. Oh, here we go. Changes things up a little. Oh boy. That was weird. Surprisingly enough, the best way to kill death is with crosses. Oh, I've been hit. I think it would be, uh... Oh, hang on, he's summoned more. Holy f... Oh, well, annoying fire. Now then, just keep smacking him upside the head. Then we've got... Whoa, here we go. Oh, he's dropping more fire. Like it is hot. Oh, pants. Rude. I think he starts dropping more of, um, of those weird balls. Oh, come on, really? I'm cool. Who'd have thought? Dracula. Cheap. Oh, here we go. As you can see. Start to cheap it out. And since he's at four health, or a quarter of his health, Dance of the Holy Man! Things will get mad now. And notice he has lost his face. Oh, I've been hit. Cannot believe that. Ah, the best around, isn't it? I haven't hit him with my whip a single time. Let's change that, shall we? Stop smacking him in the face with the Morning Star. For the final victory! Yeah! Okay, I cheated it, but still! It's morning, and he loses his, comp his corporeal form above one bat. And it's over. Dracula's reign will not occur again for another hundred years. Well, maybe he'll actually get to do something other than appear. Whoa! Region for the sun. The morning sun. Get all the points in the game. And then... The credit sequence. Oh yes. With zero lives remaining. That is truly the best way to finish the videos. Uh, the Let's Play. And Castlevania crumbles. Because, you know, it's just... Apparently Dracula is a load-bearer. Who knew? And now we get the credit sequence. Where Simon just seems to start off with nothing every time. Just walks around with his... Leather whip. I, I keep saying it whip. I think I just did that to annoy people. The, the, the screen looks so weird without the... Uh, Without the health bar, the points and all that. Player programmer. Oh, and I do apologize about the weird font. It's just, that's just how it is. I don't know how you would be able to do this with the leather whip, but it has been done. Someone has been doing a, a playthrough of the game with, um, uh, you know, go, with, going around without uh, breaking any of the, uh, what are they called? Candles. It is quite a feat, quite an amazing thing. I will have to see if I can link it in this one. Oh, the background is slightly blue there. I'll have to link it. See if he'll be amused. Well, I'll just link it. It'll be brilliant. And credit sequence. Oh, he nearly gets pegged by the bird there. As you as it's going through the credit sequence, it shows the highlights of Simon's uh, adventure. Hydra, where he's taking it on with the leather whip. I say that again. Junferano, or Juniferano. Sorry, I've been, I've been around. That bat nearly pegs him again. And Poaxel, again. He's about to get hit by that little uh, piece of shrapnel up there if he doesn't move quick. Yipon. Wow, that really does look weird without the heads-up display. That rosary would have killed everything. Because they are actually rosaries. 
Not what I thought they were, just crosses. Or weird looking crosses. And then he thought, oh wait, maybe I should get that candle. And this is the breach of the castle. Truly a fun time. I think I may end up stopping the rambling soon, because <laughs> it's just getting a bit silly. What my final score? Like 30,000? Ah, Paula, Ghoul, and Fred are scare. That, that was the actual name in the, uh, what, what do you call it? The instruction manual. So you can't, ri you can call me out on it if you want, but it's true. Oh, and there's my axe, which I never used after stage 9, I think. Which is a bit of a shame. But hey, the boomerang in the end is kind of what I needed to cheap out the rest of the game. Because screw Dracula. I can't remember what his name was. The background's slightly green. I don't know if that'll carry over to the video, but um, if you can see it. The dungeon slash sewer. Spikes everywhere. Always a fun time. Um, I'm surprised it didn't do the whole um, spike and the chains keep moving. I'm surprised it didn't do the whole uh, Super Mario Brothers 3 thing and show the names of all the lands and bosses and such. It didn't show Frankenstein's monster. That's a shame. But it does show Zap Bat. I think this is... Oh, it isn't. Oh, Masanori Udachi. I'm probably mispronouncing that name, but hey, what you gonna do? This bit is... See, he, he's much better at dodging than I am, this computer player. Got the knife. Kills this dude. He's about to get his head removed. Oh, I'll shake your sword, my good sir. Chains keep moving. Like they have actually just frozen in place. Over the bridge of bats. The batty bridge. I remember that happened in Rondo of Blood. That was weird. Anywho, wow, this has been running for 17 minutes. Super voice. No, it isn't. I am not even. Anyway, now we're at the Hall of Close Associates with Slogger again. I think he gets hurt in this one. Yeah, look, he got hurt. I think it. I think it's based on how the uh, the boss reacts. If he doesn't just immediately point, he doesn't get hurt. It's crazy shit. Yo, oh god, I feel bad for saying that. Didn't do anything to try and hit him until then. Mr. Kitoe, I think that's Kitoe. Good old producer. Fight against death again with the leather whip. I honestly cannot. I would not be able to do this without the full morning star upgrade. These scythes were the, were the bane of my existence. And look, he's about to get his—he's about to get his shin skinned off. Kurokodai. I don't know. Presented by Kalanami. I thank you for watching. This has been Mr. Smeg Hennigan. Join me again for if I ever do another video. I probably will, but for another let's play. Music just sort of keeps on going. I don't remember if it sort of finishes, but um, yeah. I think I need to press start. Thank you for watching. Oh, that was the door. Yep, bye-bye.